tonight we're hitting some dock lights to see if we can catch dinner. Something just picked up our cut bait right here. He's going with it too. He's going with his cut bait. Yep. Oh, yep. We're on. That's a good fish. Whoo, there we go. Y'all are looking good. What's happening, folks? Welcome to another video. Look at how nice that is. Absolutely gorgeous. We're waiting to nightfall because we're heading to one of my buddy's house. We're gonna do some dock light fishing. See if we can catch something to bring home and eat. And just see if we can have a good time. Let me show y'all how I'm rigging. All right, I got my big rod here. We're gonna cut us up some mullet and put it on the big rod. And then I got two little rods here, one with a popping cork, one free line. Popping cork rig is usually money under the light. It's almost time, y'all. It's getting dark. I'm already seeing some bait flipping out there. Let's go see if we can make something happen. This is the dock right here, and it is super calm. Anytime I'm walking out to a dock like to look like this, I walk super quiet because the fish can hear that vibration through the water if you're stomping around real loud. I don't know, there's fish, there's fish. There's quite a few fish in the light, and I stopped short of it. I wanna pitch a bait on them before I get out there and spook them. We're just gonna pitch a free line shrimp on this light real quick. I don't know if they're still still around or what. Oh, I'm already on. Yep, I'm already on. First cast. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> that is so funny. You, you always... Little speckled trout right here. I wonder if catching one on the first cast right when my bait hits the water is going to be bad luck or not. We gonna, let's try cast number two, see if that spooked them or not. Watch, I'm, pr I'm probably not going to catch any anything the rest of the night. When you catch one on the first cast, it's like you, the worst, worst thing ever. We got our first cast fish out of the way. Let's go set up out here on the end. We ain't even made it to the end yet. It's a real nice setup out here. They got two lights, a light there, a light there. They got two rod holders, fish cleaning station, you, you name it. All right, y'all, we're going to get the popping cork out here as well. We've got our free line bait sitting in the rod holder right here. And uh, let's get another bait out. Let's have two going. I'm gonna just kind of throw it out right in this area there. And we're gonna stick it in the rod holder. That way we've got multiple opportunities here. We're gonna shut the light off, go undercover and get us a big trout, a redfish or whatever. Hey, we've already got the skunk off and it is, we ain't been here no time, so I'm not upset. Oh, that cork is gone, dude. Hold on. That cork is gone. Yep, there he is. Oh, we're on. Yep, we're on. Oh, what is going on here? Oh, he's off. Dang it. Dang on it. I had one. That cork set out there about two seconds, too. <laughs> So maybe this, uh, maybe there's gonna be some more fish out here because that cork was out there for like no time and it got hit. Oh, cork's under again. Hold on, hold on. Yep, they got him. I, I don't know what. I think it's a catfish. Yep. Is it really gonna be one of these nights where we catch kitties? We got the big rod with a big piece of cut bait going out right now. See what happens. There we go. Let's put it in the rod holder right here. Let's put another shrimp under this light and see how long it takes to get hit. Every bait under this light right now is getting smashed. All right, I'm gonna get it right out in here. That's the honey hole. Let me stick it in the rod holder. Got my uh, cork sitting right there. Oh, 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 it's under, it's under. There he is. Got him. There he is. Look at what a dink. That is trout number two, y'all. He choked the shrimp, but not a keeper. See you later, buddy. I'm just tossing the shrimp right on the edge of this light right here. And it is getting hit every time. Set it right there. Oh, 
Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Another trout. Come here. Got, oh, look, this is a redfish. Check this out, y'all. Little redfish. Every shrimp I'm putting out right now is getting popped. Oh my gosh, I got one on the big rod. Holy cow. Holy cow. Big rod just got hit. Let's see if he's still on there. Oh, come on. Dang. Um, big rod's getting hit right here. Uh, he, I don't know if he's on there or not. I can't tell. Come on. Yep, we're on. We're on. We got one on the big rod. We got one on the big rod. I don't know what it is. Oh, that's a good fish, though. Come here. Come here. Oh, he came off. Dang it. That was a giant trout that ate that mullet. I saw him come up to the top right there, and he just, the hook just pulled. <sighs> I'm sick to my stomach, dude. You gotta be kidding me. Holy cow. I was not expecting that. I'm gonna throw this free line rod out here because my popping cork's tangled. We're just gonna put him over here by the dock light. That'll work right there. That'll work. Set it in the rod holder. All right. We have zero tidal movement though. Like I am not seeing any tidal movement at all, which there's no bait. Anytime the tide is not moving, you're not gonna see the bait. And that's what we're kind of faced with right now. So all we're getting is little guys. Um, I did hang a pretty decent fish on the cut bait, but that's about it. My free line rod's getting hit too, y'all. Yep, got him, got him. There's a fish, there's a fish, come here. Decent fish, I think. Oh, another red, good gracious. Nice, we found the red fish. So many fish around the dock right now, but I can't get a good one. I, and all I can catch are the small ones, but we're gonna make it happen. See you, buddy. All right, let's go. We gotta get a good fish. Another dink coming up here, y'all. Good gracious, that's actually a white trout. That is another species. It is just like tons of fish out here. It's like if you wanna catch a little trout or redfish, this little light right here is the spot, dude. They are loaded. We're in the kiddie pool tonight, man. We're in the shallow end. Oh, 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 yup. Guys, it is, it's like, we're on. There we go. All right, it came off. Man. I'm just waiting for that big one to take it under. I know it's going to happen, dude. You got to be optimistic over here. Oh, that was a good bite. Dang, I wasn't paying attention. They're on. I don't know if they're on, but they're, yeah. I don't know what's going on. We got a piece of cut bait going out right here. Ah. There we go. All right, we're gonna take care of this catfish that we've got. Something just picked up our cut bait right here. He's going with it too. He's going with his cut bait. Yep, oh yep, we're on. That's a good fish. That's a real good fish. Okay, that's, that's a real good fish. The cut bait is what's what's doing every piece of cut bait so far has gotten hit by like a decent fish now i don't know what this is it's at least a bigger fish it's weird though man it's fighting super strange and i don't if it goes around this pole i'm done yeah and that's what it's doing it's going around the pole and it is a sail cat Hey, come here, come here, come here, come here. All right. Y'all, this is a sail cat. Look at that big top sail. And they're actually pretty decent to eat, okay? A lot of you guys in the comments talk about them all the time, how you keep them and eat them. That's a pretty decent size one. Man, there are tons of fish out here, but like nothing quality right now. I'm, I'm catching small trout, small redfish, sail cats. My cork's going under over here as we speak. So I'm headed to the house. That was an interesting evening. We caught a ton of fish, just nothing we could keep. So I went home that night without completing my goal. The goal was to catch some keeper fish. So I had to come back out a few nights later and it was a completely different scenario. We're seeing quite a few fish. I'm gonna take a popping cork and I'm gonna chunk it 
right out here, just kind of outside the light and stick it in this rod holder. Out y'all, look at these fish starting to come up into the light right here. Yep. <clears throat> Got all of them down there. Look at that. Those are some nice ones. I'm gonna take a free line shrimp. All right, two baits ready to rock and roll. Well, look at all of them down there. Look at that. Oh, we hit corks under. We got him. We got him. There he is. Fish on. Fish on. Oh, that's a good one. Come here, buddy. Oh, yeah, that's a real nice fish. Come here, buddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get on up here. Nice. Here, and they spooked, but uh, we're going to get another bait out there and see if we can catch another one. Let's go ahead and get another bait out while they're biting. All right, another bait out. Set that one there. Guys, we are getting bit on our free line rod right here. One's taking it. There he is. Fish on. Fish on. Come here. There we go. Come here, buddy. What are we working with? Oh, yeah. Nice trout. Heck, yeah. Look at that big trout out there, y'all. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Oh, yeah. Beautiful speckled trout. Get on up here. I want to measure this one right here just to see. Oh yeah, 18 inches, right at a little shy of 18. As we can't stop now, we're gonna go ahead and put out another big bait right here. All right, I've got two rods going. And I'm just setting these rods in the rod holders like this and just kind of watching the line. And when it takes off, boom, we're on, baby. We're good to go. Yep, fish on, fish on. There he is. Oh, that's a nice, another nice fish. Heck yeah. This is a good one. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Man, we're smoking them now. Yes, sir. Get on up here. And these are all nice keeper fish. <laughs> Look at that, y'all. Nice speckled trout. Every single one of these are keepers, which is what I like. So cool. Folks, hope you enjoyed the dock light adventure. Dock light fishing is something that I do enjoy every now and then on this channel. You're going to get a lot of action, but also because if it's, it's super peaceful out there. Anytime you're night fishing under a light, there is something very peaceful about that. <laughs> we didn't catch anything crazy. That's yeah, okay. I'll tell you what I'm loving though is this cool weather. It was like in the 50s this morning here in Pensacola, and I am not complaining about that. I hope you enjoyed that video. This is a big week. We have got the kickoff to our fishing tournament on Friday, October 13th. If you haven't joined our fishing tournament. It's a month and a half long Pompano and Whiting tournament with a first prize payout of $5,000. I will leave the link in my description if you want to look it over and possibly join. Uh, the boundaries are from Dauphin Island, Alabama to St. George Island, I believe. So you've got the whole coast right here, the whole panhandle basically to fish. So if you want to join that fishing tournament, uh, we're super excited about putting that on. It's going to be a great turnout. Also, I am a licensed real estate agent with a door real estate along the panhandle so if you're looking to buy or sell a house hit me up my information's below other than that we'll catch you next time